Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be vlog style. Sorry if my hands are already shaky. But I'm going to be showing you an organization haul. Everything that I bought from Amazon so far because I've been on this organization binge. And all my stuff are from Amazon. So instead of showing you just what I got, I sh I'm showing you how I'm organizing my stuff in those things. So I hope you guys enjoy these kind of videos. Um, let me know if you want a part two of either my closet organization or if you want to see how I organize my makeup and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, so I have a box from Amazon that just came today. So we're going to open it and I'm going to show you what's inside. And then I'm going to show you what I put in it to organize. So right now in this box is like a linen crate basically. And I ordered another small one of this and it was pretty small because I organized my socks in it so I was hoping a medium size would help with fitting both new and old socks in if that makes sense I'll show you so this is what was inside the box it's basically a crate and I want to put my socks in here so this is what I have these are like new socks that have not been worn yet um there's like a bunch so I bought these like rose gold crates there's two of them on here um, I didn't know what to do with them. I thought I was going to store my socks in them, but then I got this one where I put, like, socks I regularly wear, I guess. Like, washed socks. Oh, no. Um, so that's that. There's tights in here also. Um, this just seemed to fit better, and I feel like it was more practical for socks compared to, like, those gold crates. But I love these, so I don't know if I should return them or, like, put... Maybe like body stuff on it, like body wash or like hair stuff in it. I don't know if, like I have to find a home for this, these crates. But for now I put this. But then I bought a bigger size of that other crate because, um, oh sorry about my nails. Um, I bought a bigger size because I thought these two can just combine and I just checked in my closet and they take about the same amount of space because I would have stacked these two and I didn't like how it stacked. So I would either get two of these, which I feel like would take too much space on top. And so I'm going to try and put all of this in here and hopefully it fits. Um, so let's do that. So ignore if you hear any sounds because that's my heater. Um, sorry about that sound. So I'm going to transfer this into here, hopefully to one side so I can, I don't have to lift everything up when I want a new pair of socks. Um, I just left it like how they are because... I don't want to like open new packs right now so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna take it out like this because I think I put the heavy wow look at this it's another one yeah I'm pretty sure I put the heaviest like thickest socks on the bottom so they're like have tags on it so I didn't take them all I don't know I'm gonna leave them new so I'm gonna go ahead and put them to one side so they put, fit perfectly on that one side so now I'm going to rotate it and then I'm going to put my other socks in there so I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to empty it out remember this side had tights which I don't really gravitate towards right now so I'm going to go ahead and fill that on the bottom so I fit up all my tights and they took up quite a bit of space so hopefully the rest of my socks fit so right now I have it rolled up like this which this looks crazy because these are fuzzy socks but they're really tiny so I like that because it takes up less space And then we're left with the three big fuzzy socks. And they were kind of like floating anyway. So I'm not really mad that they don't really fit. So I fit everything into that. And now that's just going to go back into my closet. I'm surprised because that fit everything. And they were in like two different crates. So that's perfect. And then I think I'm going to keep this. Oh no, I found another sock. Okay, I can fit here. Um, I think I'm going to keep the other one which is this little one 
for when I get more socks. Because you can never have too many socks. So that's going to go right into my closet now. Okay, so I was going for the rose gold theme with my accessory organizers. So these are basically like all the random things that I've been organizing. Um, you wouldn't think like these things need uh, space, but they do because right now I found this. But before that, they were in a Sephora bag because we rearranged our room. So it used to be like in the corner where no one would see it. So it wouldn't matter if it was a Sephora bag, but now the Sephora bag is too big and it falls over and it's like not stable enough. So I bought this magazine rack for my hair products, hair tools basically. And I think it's like the perfect size. So I actually bought a bigger one um, that I have to return. And it was like this big, like way more inches ahead, like thicker. So that did not fit in the spot that I wanted it to fit. And so I found this magazine rack for my hair tools. And I think it's the perfect size because it fits exactly where I need it to be. And then like I have four main heat tools. I usually use only like two of them. So they can just all fit nicely and they fit right back into the little space that I have them set. So I love this rose gold organizer. Um, you really have to be creative when you're looking for organizers because there's so many things that can be multi-purpose. Like this, okay, is magazine rack. So I also measured how like wide my area was so that I could find the perfect magazine rack because the first time I didn't and then the that one came out too big. So then I read the reviews on this and there were a lot of people disappointed about this magazine rack because I'm sure it barely will hold any magazines. But that's why I can use this for hair tools and it's perfect because it it can probably fit like two more hair tools in here. So this is perfect for that and I'll link everything down below because I really got creative with my searches of like stuff like even the sock organizer, even this sock organizer, like people use this for dog bins, like they put their dogs in here. So I'm sure you could do that too but you gotta be creative with your searches because you'll find like other stuff that you can use for the same thing you're looking for. So the next thing I got was this craft organizer. So I had a bigger one. Actually, I'll show you. So this is how I had my crafts organized before. It's like this green crate and it has like these blue ones in between and that's where I used to put stuff. But now it doesn't fit in the space that I have because we rearranged everything. So I fit everything in here. So these are like all my arts and crafts stuff. So there's like rulers, tape, glue gun pencils, ribbon, twine, all this ribbon, there's paint, so I basically did that. There's colored pencils, there's everything in here that like I would need for art. Gotta take this off. But it's all, everything here is from Amazon, so this like fit everything perfectly in like a small space. Okay, so the next part that I had trouble organizing was my miscellaneous stuff because they used to be all over my desk and take up all this random space. But then I thought I should just put them in like boxes with lids. So I found these containers that were like five bucks each and they're so cute. They're like small and they fit everything perfectly. So like in this one, I'll show you. So in this one, there's like speakers, wires. So in this one, there's like speakers, hard drive, USB wires. There's like USBs. There's also my SD cards and like these attachments. There's like all this random electronic shit that would just be all over my... All this random electronic stuff that would be all over my table and take up space. So it fit compactly into this, which is perfect. And then this has even more random stuff. So this one has like chargers, like various chargers. This is random. This is a guitar string. These are converters, like the randomest things that never have a home, now have a home. And this one I actually used to organize my paints and paintbrushes because I didn't realize I had so much paint and paintbrushes. I guess I bought like the packs of four. So that's how I organized my paints. It fits perfectly. There's like probably eight or nine in here and I think it's perfect for paints as well. So that's like all the random stuff I had to organize. Okay, moving on to my desk. So I found these super cute organizers, of course they're all rose gold, and they cleared up so much space on my desk. I will show you how much space, look how much space I have now. Before, that whole area used to be like packed, like I didn't have a desk, 
Now I can actually work on this desk if I wanted to. I usually don't stay here um, and use it, but this is like so much space now. It looked like a hoarder's desk because it would be so much piles of stuff. So I got these hanging file organizers which have been a godsend because when I used to stack up my books, they used to come up to here. Like that's how much, or like here maybe. So if I put it like down and stacked it, it would probably be the same height and then it would come up here because there's so many books that are like wide. But I found these perfect hanging file organizers and I put all my books in them that used to be on my table and it cleared up so much room. And then I got these two um, pencil organizers which are so cute. So they organize these like my pens and then these are pencils, tape, sharpener, highlighters, all that like other stuff and scissors. And I think everything looks so cute together. So I'm going to show you a little bit more of a close up of, like how I organized it. So as you can see, these are like yearbooks, like coloring book, random books. There's also like notepads in here. Um, there's a selfie stick here, glasses that I have too many of. And then these are like also notebooks because everyone loves to give me notebooks and I love, I love having notebooks. Here are like planners. There's another coloring book. Um, folders. These are like scrapbook letters that I had nowhere else to put it. This is like a, another folder. And then these have like dissecting kit, a bunch of calculators, a random fan. And then these are my pencil cases. So that's it for like my organization of my desk. So that is how I organize my desk area. Now I have tons of space. So I'm going to show you like where I put the miscellaneous stuff which are right in the corner of my desk. So like this is my desk. This is a huge makeup organizer. So if you want to see my makeup collection and how I organize my makeup, um, there's this and there's more on my dresser. So give this a thumbs up and let me know in the comments as well. So this is where I had my miscellaneous stuff in this little corner. So that's where these fit and then like the stuff in the back. So if you want to see how I organize my makeup, let me know and I will show you. This looks very messy because the piles fell. But, um, let me know and I'll do a video on that as well. So this is where I put the sock drawer. It fits perfectly. On the other side, I have, like, clothes I wear every day. So the next thing I bought were these beautiful hangers. Like, these hangers are life-changing. Um, these are the ones from Amazon. They're the non-stick velvet hangers. Ugh, they're so amazing. I always had the plastic hangers, which are, like, cheap. And they either break or like everything slips off. These are non-slip, so since it's velvet, everything stays on. So like this is like velvet on velvet. It stays on. So all I did was like I color coded I color coded all my shirts and blouses. So there's like flannels in the back. These are kimonos, so these are like miscellaneous. And then it starts from like black to white. And then it has like random yellow. I have like one yellow top, I think. And like a gold top and then it goes like all this blue purple pink and red which I guess I like the only colors I wear and then I'm waiting for like more organization stuff so right now these are my sweaters which I hate the way it looks basically they're KonMari method folded and they're like also kind of colored and also like I guess like these are like pullovers and these are like I don't I don't know what material like wool sweaters and then there's even more in the back, but I don't like it, so I ordered organizers. So if you're ready for a part two of how I have to organize these, because I hate how these look. They look so messy. I hate it. Um, they look fine, like, in the back. Like, this looks fine, like, from the top. But, like, from the bottom, it looks really bad. So I ordered, like, three organizers to put them the same way, but, like, in crates. So if you're ready for a part two, let me know. So I'll show you how I organize that. I also have to organize my closet. Like, this is just my armor, but I have to organize my closet, so if you want a part two for that, also let me know. 